Kay Ingleside here at City College in San Francisco to see an opening of an observatory. It's actually in that planetarium right there. There is a map here actually that does show the planetarium. So we went up to look for it in the science building. And take a look at these gorgeous murals. Science Hall is flanked by all sorts of notable goodies. There is, I think that's Newton on that side. And some Grecian guy on this side, maybe Socrates or Plato or Aristotle. One of the biggies. But we're reaching a little higher than that. We're actually going all the way up there to where that dome is. Check out these murals. They're being up by Diego Rivera. They are absolutely gorgeous. You can actually smell the science here. There are physics labs here, there are chemistry labs, I think there are biology labs. It all smells of that, that, the science wing of my old school back in London. But let's head up to the stars. Words to live by. Okay. Now on the second floor. Go so on up. The third floor. Getting a little bit dizzy from the altitude here. Okay. Third floor. Ooh. We are getting much warmer. Okay. And you're the wizard in charge. Your name is Todd. Okay. No, you're, not, you're not really the wizard in charge. Okay. Yes, I'm just the wizard. Okay, this yes. is great. I used to love planetariums when I was growing up. Well, and, and when we get back, we you can see the planetarium. planetarium. Yes, we have that as well. But let's wait to the observatory. You got it. This is phenomenal. So, are you um, you're on the mailing list because you you took classes here? Or no. You, no. Actually, the story is quite this. I was actually uh, here for Earth Day a couple of years ago, oh, right. and we, I was in a, a treatment program, it was a, a rehab program, and we yep. got here too late for Earth Day, it was after 2 o'clock, uh -huh. so they said to us, okay, do your own thing, so I saw the planetarium on one of your uh, oh, maps, okay. and so I came up here and found myself on the astronomical mailing list. Yeah, trying to hunt it down. Yes. Cool. And uh, it was really fun, and I loved hearing the, the, what, what you guys get up to. I always want to get more involved with the actual observation stuff because I'm into astronomy. Yeah, good. Um, so next Wednesday night, we're yeah. having a party. Oh, wonderful! Our observing party. So feel free to come on back up. Uh, so, about so seven, this is it. Seven thirty or so. Yeah. It's a sixteen inch. Fourteen inch. Technically. Fourteen inch. Yeah. Technically, what? Why is there a technical difference? So. Well, the technical difference was a typo. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> What's we? Yes. Yes, uh, Andre published it as 16 inch reopening. I, had to, I sent him a correction saying, oh, no, actually it's only 14. So. Got it. Uh, so, how old is this telescope? Um, I want to say in and around. When was this put in? Um, like, it's like mid 70s. Uh huh. And they were able, to, uh, even with all the light pollution and stuff like that, it was considered yeah. a worthwhile investment. Well, even, even San Francisco State has one, too. Oh, really? Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. You know, and they're subject to the same, same conditions we are. But, uh -huh. you know, it, it's instructive, not from a research standpoint, clearly because of the light pollution, but right. for instructional purposes, you know. We get to see planets. We get to see the brighter stars, you know, with a solar filter like this. We can look at the sun. So on, so Wonderful. But, Wonderful. Um, hmm. So right now we're looking at edge of the sun where I suspect there was a sunspot, but I think it must have moved now around the edge of the sun because I don't see it. And I suspect that it actually finally rotated out of view on the sun's surface. How fast does the sun rotate? Um, near the equator about 
uh, once around was 25 days. Oh, okay. Up near the poles, it's more like 30 days. So in other words, you saw the sun, because it's basically a big lump of liquid flowing, zipping around, right? right. Um, it rotates differentially because it's a fluid. Right. So. Right. The poles rotate slower than the, uh, than the equator. Okay. Yep. Well, that's actually really quite impressive. It looks like the edge of a big ball of fire. And you can see, because I'm sweating, it's actually quite hot. <laughs> So was it actually out of commission for a number of years? Oh then? yeah. How many yeah, years? Yeah. Um, <laughs> well, let's see. I started teaching here in fall of 2003, and I think it worked that first semester, but then the telescope broke. Hmm. The actual telescope itself broke. It froze up. Oh, really? uh, the department, uh, the, the math yeah. department chairperson, uh -huh. yeah. Dennis Pointkowski was just up here. He said, I've been teaching here for 25 years. It's the first time he's been up here. He's never known there was an astronomy, uh, an observatory I mean, He up knew here. we had this stuff, but he'd yeah. never seen it. That's amazing. So it, it's not surprising to me at all that nobody knows that this is here, you know? It's not like publicized right. on the outside <laughs> building, observatory on roof. I am the sorcerer of the Sorcerer's that's, Apprentice. That's right. yep. And my daughter, two-year-old, oh, losing my hat. <laughs> There's a star. I have to say, when I was here, this is when I discovered all these studying, and yes. at which point, as they are now. Do you ever use it as a planetarium? Yeah. 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 It's a gorgeous yeah. Wednesday night, we'll probably use it as such. Wow. You've got yeah, the controls. The 60s control analog stuff. And of course the uh, pointer with the green arrow on the end, yes, right? Yes. I actually had an amazing time just now. Uh, there were about three students up there and we were discussing astronomy versus astrology and how human beings basically are lazy and subject to their own interpretations of the universe which is why astrology came about but it was marvelous stuff listening to uh, Todd explain the uh, how we're such an innately curious species Thank you, Gohan.